Now, I think this is an amazing feature in Blender, okay, the viewport denoising. I haven't been using cycles much lately, um, I do most of my work in EVs. Ever since 2.8 came in, I've just been sticking with EV most of the time, but uh, I just found out about this cool feature, the viewport denoising. Basically what this does is all those noise you're going to have in your scene is going to try and then remove them out of your scene. But of course this is going to be at the cost of your image quality, okay? So if you have a lot of details in your scene, you're going to lose the image quality. So let's go ahead and then try this real quickly. So we're going to go over to the render tab over here. I'm going to go under the sampling tab. And then, as you can see right here, I have the render engine set to cycles, and I have the device set to GPU compute. Now, there are two types of denoising in here, so let's go ahead and then open up the denoising tab over here. And you can see we have the render in the viewport tab over here. So, obviously, as their name suggests, the viewport is going to denoise in your viewport, and the render is going to denoise in your render. So, let's go ahead and then enable. Well, first of all, let's take a look at what this looks like without the denoiser. Alright, so you can see this is my scene, it's an interior scene and it's a lot of, uh, what do you call it, noise in the scene, okay? Basically, uh, what the viewport denoising is going to do is when we enable this, when we enable this right now, it's going to remove all those noise, okay, based off of the stat sample that you have over here. So if you're sampling, I mean, if you're sampling about uh, 32, as in the viewport here, it says 32, and then you set this up to 1, it's going to start denoising at the sample 1. But if you set this to something around 10, then it's going to start denoising at 10, okay? So right now you can see we still have some noise in the scene, but as soon as it reaches 10, it's going to uh, start denoising the whole scene. And then if we go over here, we have extra options here, okay? So we have optics and then open image denoise. Now the optics is only supported by GPUs, okay? So I think it's the 700 series, the 800 series, and the 1000 series. I have the 1000 series, I have a GTX 1050, okay? So with a GPU, you can go ahead and use optics denoising, but if you have only a CPU, it's best you use the open image denoise, which I think is a new feature they added in Blender 2.9, because it was only available in the compositor. And uh, yeah, they finally brought it into the viewport, so that is amazing as well. So that is how you actually denoise your scene. And like I said, the more, uh, what do you call it, the more you denoise your scene, or as you have a denoiser in your scene, what you're going to use, what you're going to notice is you're going to lose the image quality, okay? So basically, these, uh, this wooden texture has a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, it has a normal map applied to it, and this normal map gives us more details of uh, bumps, fake bumps in those areas. But if you go ahead and then apply denoiser to this uh, area right here, what's going to happen is we're going to lose that image quality because the uh, the the GPU tries to clear or whatever uh, device you're using for your rendering is trying to clear off those noise and uh, you know you lose those details in the process if you get what I'm trying to say so you lose those details in the process so if you don't want to go ahead and then use the denoise your best option is to uh, set up your sampling your render sample to a higher value but of course this is a viewport so you can go ahead and then use the denoise because it's just for you know uh, checking out your scene just to see how it looks when in case you don't have uh, much uh, I mean, noise in your scene just to see how it looks. So this does basically for the what you call it the viewport scene. But if you want to go ahead and then use it in your render scene as well, you can go ahead and then enable the render uh, tab over here and then set up to the appropriate device that you need. Or you can go ahead and disable this and use the compositor denoise instead. So yeah, this is what I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next video.